Okay guys, welcome to this short video where I'm going to be giving you and throwing a bit of information regarding equations of circles. Okay, now this video guys obviously yeah, was recorded actually and filmed on Friday the 25th of November 2022. Okay, and it's just giving you some facts here for when you are sitting your mock examinations for GC higher tier maths and A level maths as well. Okay, now just a little disclaimer guys, this is explicitly for higher tier GCSE and also the AS level pure math so first year of A level pure math so year one um, pure mathematics okay so this is not aimed at foundation tier okay and it's looking at just some general facts here about exam style questions that could appear involving equations of circles okay so feel free to grab your notepad pen pencil and take some notes from today's video regarding any key facts or any key information okay i'm only going to be giving you facts today there are no exam style questions so please bear that in mind for this short video today okay so for GC higher tier guys you're going to be given equations of circles now that's always in the form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared okay where you're centered okay so center of the circle is always going to be zero zero if it's in this form and the radius is equal to the square root of r squared the radius in this case will always be positive okay remember that, we, that we, when you take a square root of a number okay it comes with that plus and minus okay we disregard the minus root okay of the radius because we can't have like a negative distance okay we can't have like a negative radius a radius has to always be like a positive number okay whether it's a, a fraction decimal integer okay um yeah, it, it is a it is a positive integer or positive number bigger than or equal to zero Okay, so these are the different ways that the equation could be written in. So it could be y squared plus x squared equals r squared, or y equals plus or minus the square root of r squared minus x squared. Okay, so make sure that you're happy and familiar with the equations of circles. Okay, so that's like the general form, guys. And like a typical exam question might say to you, given this circle x squared plus y squared equals 9, let's say, find the center or the coordinates of the center and the radius okay so the coordinates of the center is always going to be zero zero if it's in the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared and the radius would, would be like the square root of nine which is just equal to three so the radius would equal to three guys okay now i've put in here the equation sorry the formula for the gradient of a line because in 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 a part b or a part c or a part d they may ask you to find the equation or the gradient of a tangent to a circle now this is explicitly yeah for grade nine students here and as level pure math students as well okay so year one um pure mathematics students okay so the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so it's a second y coordinate minus the first y coordinate divided by the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate if you're given like a set of coordinates okay now for the purpose of this year, you are always going to be working out the gradient of um, from zero zero to that point now, uh, depending on what point or points you're given. OK, and then the, the gradient of the tangent member is the perpendicular. So it's a negative reciprocal of my current gradient. OK, so equation of a tangent will involve a perpendicular um, gradient so the negative reciprocal of a gradient and again i will cover this in the future okay next part so a level maths one so you might have x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals r squared where the center is at a b so it's not at zero zero here okay and the radius again is a square root of r now for a level maths here it might get a bit more tricky you, you might be asked to work out the radius okay from two points you would remember you would use pythagoras to work it out so i've put the formula here okay so make sure that you're happy with the center and the radius and questions regarding tangents okay and bisection okay and intersection okay for these sorts of circles okay so i've put here guys a tangent is just a line or lines that meet a, a function at a given point so it touches it at a given point okay 
and it can cross the parametric equation, a par parabola, a curve, a circle, or a line. Okay, so that's the end of today's video, guys. So I sincerely hope you found it useful. If you did, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you all inside the next video. Okay, bye for now.